Hello, how are you? All um, wonderful catfish farmers and um, would be catfish farmers. Um, today I want to talk again on catfish business. And um, you know, my, my primary target each time I try to um, bring information about catfish farming is um, how to reduce um, production cost and then uh, um, also uh, be delivered from unnecessary losses. Um, there is nothing like, uh, you know, high mortality rate in catfish business <clears throat> that affects profitability and, um, you know, um, unnecessarily drags you into incurring a lot of um, large, um, you know, um, production cost. When the fishes begin to die and die, you buy, you want to buy medicines, you want to buy this, you want to buy that. You know, you do so many things to try to see that uh, mortality is reduced uh, in your farm so that um, at the end of the day, you can save some of your fishes and won't run into terrible loss. Um, you know, what I want to talk about today concerning mortality is that point blank, stress is the major reason why your fishes get infected, um, get sick, and then die. So you must, um, as much as possible, try to, um, you know, get involved in anything that will, you know, reduce stress in your farm. Now, <laughs> I can talk about a lot of things about fish farming, but, you know, I cannot talk about medicine. I do not know what the medicines are. I do not know their names. I do not... Um, I do not know where to buy them because I have not used medicines. This might sound very strange, but I've not used medicines in my farm over so many years that I've been um, um, into fish, uh, catfish farming. Reason is because rather than um, concentrate on um, knowing what medicines to use and to buy, I'm not saying it is wrong. I'm just saying for me, rather than concentrate on the medicines to buy, I concentrate on making sure that my fishes are not stressed as much as I can. Because I know that stress is the major cause for sickness, that lead, uh, for uh, stress that leads to disturbance, and then, you know, disturbance that leads to stress, eventually um, sickness, disease, mortality, and all that. So I concentrate on the things to do so that my fishes don't get stressed. Let, let us look at the number one thing that you should do so that your fishes don't get stressed. <clears throat> now, there are some times when we make mistakes in the farm, especially when draining water. You drain water and forget. And then for a long time, the fishes are without water, struggling. And by the time you remember, if they're still alive, you pour water immediately, you know, there. And then you feed immediately. As soon as you do that, you increase the stress level because being without water for a long time has stressed them. And immediately you put water, you feed, it's over. The stress becomes so much, they are so disturbed, and then they get diseased, and then they begin to die. So one of the things that you should be mindful about is to make sure that you do not in any way overwork their digestive system so that they get stressed out and then sick and die. So if you, if you ever make the mistake of leaving them long time, forget you don't put water in time after draining water. Don't feed at all. Leave them. If I, if, if I leave them one, day, one whole day, I don't feed. The next day I feed, you know, so, so that um, they don't get really stressed out. Another thing is if your fishes are sick and they are recovering, don't feed too much. Try as much as possible to reduce the amount of feed that you give them. Very little, little by little by little, as they go through the recovery process, you know, when they are fully recovered, you can begin to feed them normally again. Okay? Another, um, another you know, cause of stress is transfer. That is to say, when you transfer fishes from one location to the next location, especially when you are transferring um, finger licks, um, 
you are transferring juveniles or post fingerlings or whatever you are transferring. Um, the best thing to do is whenever you transfer from one location, one location to the next location, make sure you do not feed at all. Yeah, some people will tell you feed after six hours, six hours, feed after four hours. Some people who don't know will even feed immediately. But I think the best thing to do, as I will, what I will do is um, I'll feed 24 hours after I bring in my new stock, okay? Or I transfer fishes to anywhere. So the, you, you can save your fishes um, stress by not feeding immediately, you transfer them from one location to the other. To the other. Some people have made the mistake of feeding immediately, they transfer from one location to the other. And the next thing is that all their fishes die. And this can be very, very painful. Another thing that causes stress for fishes is a change of weather. When there's a drastic drop in the temperature, um, fishes can suffer mortality. Th there's not much you can do about that when there's a change in, in, in a very sharp drop in the temperature. Um, also talk about something like acid rain. There's not much any farmer can do about that. But what I try to do is to contain it, you know, to try to as much as possible reduce the mortality rate. So I also do not feed too much so that their water is a lot oxygenated so that they can go through the stress period of uh, change of weather. And then, um, I try to change water often, very, very often. Sometimes I find myself changing water twice a day, okay, to save um, the fishes and reduce any form of uh, mortality, <clears throat> mortality rate, okay. Another cause of mortality is during harvest. Now, you should try as much as possible before you harvest, not to feed your fishes a day before you harvest or two days even. But because people do not know what they do is that um, they feed their fishes today and the next day they're harvesting. So the fishes can actually die during um, harvest like that because they are stressed out, okay? And um, they have so much feed within them. So one day, two days before harvest, do not feed. And then do not feed during harvest, especially when your harvest maybe is, um, is, um, is continuous. First day, second day, third day like that. No need to feed. Just leave the fishes, you know, because those ones that you bring out to sell and they didn't sell, and you return them back to the pond and feed them, you stress them out. So no need to feed, just leave them. Leave them. They won't drop weight. Three days, no, they won't drop weight. Nothing will happen to them. But rather, something will happen to them when you keep feeding and harvesting. So that's another source of stress. You can uh, um, actually avoid that. And then um, another so source of stress is pond preparation, you know. Before you stock your fishes, you must try as much as possible to clean out your pond very well. Make sure that, um, you know, um, it is clean enough to bring uh, new fishes in. Like um, tarpaulin tanks, you can use uh, uh, salt, just salt. Don't use detergent. Detergent is not very good to prepare ponds for fishes at all. Soap is not very good with them. So use salt and thoroughly wash out the salt and then make sure that... Um, there are not harmful, harmful, harmful organisms in the in the in the pond, and um, you are good to go. Fill in your water, and uh, remember, wash with um, salt very well. Wash out the salt, especially for tarpaulin tanks and plastic tanks. Wash out the um, wash out the salt very well. Leave for a day under the sun, under the you know sky to dry out, and then put water. It is best to put water a day, 24 hours before stocking so that your water is soft in a bit and then you can you can stock so proper pond preparation can help um, your fishes um, not to be stressed out and thereby avoiding mortality so with all this you know you can you can save your your fishes from from dying you you might not even have to get involved in the medicine thing you know and all that because once fishes are not stressed especially this um, clarius grapinus the African catfish, once they are not stressed, they hardly get sick and they hardly die. So, rather than concentrate on medicines to buy, concentrate on doing the things that will not stress them out. I'm not saying medicines are bad, they are very good, if you want to give medicines, very good, but prevention is better than cure. 
this is what we're going to take today. Um, I do this all, all the time. And, um, you know, for catfish farmers, you need information all the time. I, I seek information also, even though I've been in this business for so many years. We just keep learning and learning and learning. Um, for you to get information coming to you, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then once I do this, you'll get it, you know. Um, my name is Mr. Greg. Bye for now.